happy Friday everybody um, happy Valentine's Day um, it uh, I don't know what time it is it's sometime after four o'clock um, I've been home for a little bit um, and my husband surprised me with some sweet Valentine's Day presents um, he got me donuts you see gluten-free donuts um, from one of like the best gluten-free bakeries in town um, so that was really cute um, and sweet and then oh sorry Drex here comes the cat because cat sniffing things and then he got me my favorite chips in the planet Trader Joe's corn tortilla chips chili and lime they're kind of like Takis but they don't have um, they don't have like dairy and stuff. I can't have dairy. So, um, uh, he got me these. I'm so excited. Um, and he also got me a new tripod, which, um, should be able to help me do my bullet journal filming. So that was really thoughtful of him. So we don't typically do stuff for Valentine's Day. So it was a really nice, sweet surprise. Um, so yay um but yeah so I just got home not too long ago um it was kind of a it's kind of a stressful exhausting week so and my cat is chewing things over on my desk that's always fun um but anyway yeah it was kind of a crazy stressful week so my brain is a little bit mushy right now um so I think what I might do is partake in some snackage and play Mario Kart for a little bit and then we decided, well we, I decided that we were going to have breakfast for dinner because I watched Peggy Neo's mukbang and it was this huge breakfast spread and it looked yummy so we're going to do that for dinner and then I will probably get some reading in um, this weekend we um are going to visit family so um i won't um sorry my cat is on my desk sniffing things and he likes to chew on stuff so i'm just making sure he does not actually chew on anything um he's he's mischievous so, um, yeah, I won't be able to vlog too much, um, tomorrow on Saturday, um, so yeah, um, I won't be able to vlog too much tomorrow, so we'll see how this whole thing plays out. I won't be able to read that much either. We do plan on finishing Dark Dawn while we're in the car, so that will be really nice because we haven't listened to it in a in a while it's been a minute so I really want to finish Dark Dawn this weekend because um, we've got probably about seven hours of driving ahead of us round trip and then um, I want to finish Crown of Feathers this weekend as well so fingers crossed that I will be able to do all of those things even though we're going out of town and all that stuff so um, anyway I am going to relax a little bit maybe get my game on and uh i don't know what that was um clearly i am tired and just need to veg for a while so that's what i'm gonna go that's what i'm going to go do and um i'll see you guys in a little bit look at this donut yum not you you don't look at the donut are you saying hi to the people? Say hi to the people. Anyway, I was gonna, here, donut. I wanted to show you the donut. Um, it's really big too, but yum. Hi everybody, so it's a few hours later and I have been playing a lot of Mario Kart. Um, so I don't have a reading update for you, but I have um, retreated into the bedroom to get myself away from the Nintendo Switch so that I am no longer tempted to play um, Mario Kart for the rest of the night. So um, it's about eight o'clock 
and um, I am retreating into the bedroom. I'm gonna pick up Crown of Feathers. Crown of Feathers, Crown of Feathers, Crown of Feathers. Um, and get to reading, I'm on chapter 20. So I will pop in um, after I get a little bit of reading done. Um, wish me luck. Okay, see you later. Good morning, everybody. Um, it is Saturday and uh, I uh, fell asleep last night so I didn't update but um, I am going to get a little bit of reading in and I'm going to put on Samurai Gourmet in the background um, which I love this show so much it is in Japanese but who cares it's amazing and then um, while that's kind of on in the background I am going to read my book oh look here's the cat too hello kitty hello kitty um so I read a few chapters of Crown of Feathers last night before I went to sleep and I'm on page 372 um, and it's really good <clears throat> um, very interesting so far we're still t getting like background information so it's um, I like I like this book Hydrax um, don't mind that back there um, I like the book I think it's slow to build um like I kind of want it to get going now um but yeah so it's good um but can we talk about let's talk about something here really quick while I while Drax is getting comfortable why does everybody's names have a Y in it like everybody's name has a Y I don't understand it's a little overkill but otherwise, I'm going to get to reading for a little bit. We'll probably leave here in um, a couple hours um, to go out of town. So I'm going to get some chapters in before I have to, you know, get my life together. So I will see you guys soon. Happy Sunday. Um, 
we have returned home from our quick weekend um, to visit family and I think we've been home for about I would say about an hour hour and a half um, and uh, oh, I'm tired I didn't get a chance to vlog at all yesterday um, so I want to catch you up on all the things that have happened um, basically I finished crown of feathers uh, which I'm super excited about it was pretty good um, I think I gave it four stars um, it's a good story it's a pretty quick read I think um, it's very intriguing with um, just kind of the world and the history behind phoenixes and phoenix writers and how they came to be and then just the story between Oh, you can see that. Sorry. The story between the two sisters and um, the original two sisters and then following up with the current pair of sisters that we are reading about in this book. Um, there were a couple of twists in here that made me pretty much like gasp like what is happening. Um, but overall it was a really good interesting read. Um, I really liked the main character Veronica and um, Tristan. I liked their dynamic. I think Veronica is very interesting. Um, her magical abilities I think aren't tapped into yet and she's kind of like she's kind of like Rey in Star Wars where she's just coming into her own with discovering that she has all these different abilities and kind of exploring them and we're getting a snippet of how strong she could possibly be which I think is very very interesting so um it definitely left on a cliffhanger and I'm happy that the next book is coming out soon um so I don't have to wait too long to see how it ends it's not one where I'm like oh my gosh I can't wait it's more like I just want to know what happens next so um yeah four stars it was good there's lots of cliches in here um so don't go into this book, you know, super judgmental or, you know, like if you're not really into reading like all the typical tropes, this is probably not for you. But um, if you just want a fun read, something to escape to really quick, maybe you're a little slumpy, um, this might help you out. So it was good. Um, and uh I liked how we have we're following like three four four different characters point of view and I liked how they all kind of intertwined with each other um, so I feel like this this first book is a good stepping stone to hopefully what the next book will be um, yeah that's that's what I think so anyway I finished this really excited about that um, I'm going to take a little bit of a reading, reading, a break from reading um, because I read probably five plus hours yesterday, which is not a bad thing. Um, but I, I want to kind of digest this one a little bit longer um, before I pick my next book. We also listened to a little bit of Dark Dawn on our way over to um, visit family and um, we didn't listen to it on the way back. I really kind of wasn't feeling it. Um, the story is good. Um, we are a couple chapters into book two of Dark Dawn. So I think we're on chapter 13, maybe 14. I don't know. I don't remember. But um, I think things are starting to kind of we're, we're building, um, we're basically setting up for the next big, like, battle, I think. So, I'm kind of in that. But because I was reading Crown of Feathers, um, and I had just finished it this morning, I wasn't really in the mood to listen to Dark Dawn on the way home. So, um, yeah, so we're a little behind on that. But that's okay. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to go play some Mario Kart because um, that's what I am into right now and then um, I'll probably pick up my next book I'm not quite sure which one it'll be it might be Love Boat Type A or Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky not sure which one I want so I'm gonna think that over go play some Mario Kart 
and uh, I'll check in with you in a little bit. Tracks. Tracks. Say hi to all the people. Tracks. Oh, are you being camera shy now? Tracks. Say hi to all the people. You. Kitty. Over here. Kitty, kitty. Well. He's either being indignant or he's being shy. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he has his ears back. What? He has his ears back. I know. He's just like, nope. Well, we've played Mario Kart and Mario Party. I'm going to continue procrastinating on my reading and I'm going to watch some YouTube. Uh, focus, please. There you go. Because Whitney posted a vlog and when Whitney posts a vlog, you have to watch the vlog. So that is what I'm going to do. It's not really focusing very well, is it? Cat is living his best life today. And we're waiting for the chicken soup that was cooked in the Instant Pot to naturally release the pressure. And then we can have dinner. So in the meantime, we're going to continue the procrastination. Husband's going to play Subnautica. Subnautica. Cat will probably sit here. And I am going to watch YouTube. Hey everybody, so I'm popping in with an update. Um, it is about 9.30 and we have um, retreated to um, the bedroom to get a little bit of reading in before we fall asleep. Um, I have decided to start Love Boat Type A. We will see how it goes. It's um, on my TBR for the month, but because I just finished Crown of Feathers today and kind of like a marathon sprint um, over the last two days, I'm just not sure what mood I'm in for my next book. So my other option was Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. So um, I went with Love Boat Type A because it's not a fantasy. Um, so we'll see how this one goes. If I'm feeling it, then I'll continue. If not, I'll put pause on it and pick up the other one. So I'm going to do that. I don't know if I will check in again tonight, um, but I guess we'll see what happens. So see you guys later. Hello everybody. It's Monday. Um, so I, since I didn't get a chance to vlog pretty much at all this weekend, I thought I would extend um, my little vlog for the next couple of days. So I just got home and, ooh, the lighting is awesome. Um, I just got home from work and I'm just kind of settling in and putting some stuff away and, um, you know, all that good stuff. <clears throat> Had a little falafel snack, so that was yum. Um, and, oh, okay, tired. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I just got home maybe like, 20 minutes ago um and I am <clears throat> excuse me oh my gosh this is starting off amazingly well so um I think today what I'm gonna do is ow <clears throat> oh I'm keeping all of this in <clears throat> I am a hot mess and it's awesome it's Monday you know nothing goes right on Mondays it's great I have some falafel stuck in my throat. <clears> throat> so anyway, um, I'm back. So I think what I'm going to do right now is kind of get settled in a little bit more. And then I'm going to start editing my last vlog. Um, and last night, I can't remember what I told you all last night, but I started rating Love Boat Taipei. I will get into that in a little bit in my next checkup. My mom is yelling at me right now, so I'm gonna go and I will see you guys in a little bit. Hello everyone. Um, well, the husband texted me a little bit ago and said he was on his way. 
So I thought I'd get dinner ready. I've got pork chops going in the skillet. I have some hot water warming up um, for my pasta. Pasta! Gluten-free fettuccine fresh pasta is seriously, this is amazing. Taste Republic. So if you have to eat gluten-free but you like pasta, you should probably check this out. It's not cheap at all, but so worth it if you're gonna splurge. And then I've got broccoli. And then I'm gonna put this sauce on the noodles. Can you see it? No dairy Alfredo sauce by Primal Kitchen. I haven't tried it before. I normally um, make my own non-dairy Alfredo sauce, but girl be lazy and it was on sale. So I thought I'd give it a try. I'm the only one that's gonna eat it anyway, so. Um, whatever, I'll give a shot. And I may have possibly burnt the sweet potatoes. I mean, I don't know, burnt? Extra crispy? Meh. It's burnt, it's totally burnt. Um, so yeah, so I'm doing this, getting that ready, and then um, so I'm kind of running back and forth between um, cooking dinner and um, Hello. I'm running back and forth between cooking dinner and um, editing my video. Um, so that was probably a very cute face. Um, the cat has stolen my chair, um, so that's always fun. So um, yeah, I've just been kind of running back and forth between getting dinner ready and editing and um, the cat has taken my chair so um all in all a typical monday night here so i'm gonna keep going with that get the video edited and then that way i can read um so i'll check in with you guys in a little bit hope you're having a good monday and dinner is done yum hi hi buddy What's going on back there? Hi. 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 Okay, bye. Hi, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Um, just got home probably about 20 minutes ago. Um, am I wearing the same sweatshirt I did when I got home yesterday? There's a good chance. High probability. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I didn't get any reading done yesterday, which is sad but um, I did start listening to Ready Player One um, today at work because it was um, I had it on hold and it was available at my library on audible so there you go um, so I started that <laughs> um, and it's pretty good it's very different from the movie um, so far but I'm enjoying it and um, I do plan on reading uh, Love Boat Taipei later today, um, but I'm going to get some editing finished up and then um, start dinner and then read. That's my plan, but every time I say that, it never works out. So we shall see what happens, but that's what I hope to do. So I'll pop in with a quick update later. Hey everybody, so um, checking in with you um it is 7 45 and i have decided to retreat into the bedroom so that i could just focus on some reading um i started love boat taipei on sunday and i got to page 70 um so far so good i am enjoying this very much um i think that um so far how she has um, described kind of the dynamic and complications of being Asian American and being like a first generation American um, it has been very interesting and very true to my own experience maybe not to the extreme that um, our main character has experienced but 
I could definitely identify with some of the things that she has said and some of the things she's experienced so far. So I'm really enjoying it. Um, I hope to, it's, it seems like it's going to be a really quick read. It's like 400 pages, but the print isn't huge, but it's, it does not fill the page. Let's just say that. So, um, I think this is going to be a quick read, but, um, I wanted to pop in and just, uh, let you know the haps. And uh, I'm going to get started, and I'm um, not sure if I will check in again tonight. We shall see. Um, I'll talk to you later.